Yeah. An opening! It's my turn! Ha! Here I go! Yeah. Let's go! <coughs> it's down! Uh, mm. yeah. Not today! My turn! Thanks! Thanks. My Thanks. turn! Let's go! <coughs> it's down! <coughs> I'm up! <coughs> now! <coughs> I'll see you. It's my turn! <coughs> oh! <coughs> Too easy! <coughs> Don't Thank you! Not today! <coughs> Let's go! It's down! Uh, Very well. Uh, it's down! Ready to uh, come! Too easy! Come! Uh, Don't Thank you! I'll save Thanks. you! Thanks! It's my turn! My turn. My mo- You're quite tenacious. Most impressive. <laughs> How is this old man so strong? He's every bit as strong as the legendary Steel Maiden. Is it his hundred form military combat? No, it's more than that. The power of two knights of the Stalriter and the blazing demon combined is immense. Yes, and not to mention the divergent blade Angbar, and their radiant star formation. <sighs> I knew I wouldn't have an easy time going against them. Your speed remains as impressive as ever, Duvali. It's not quite enough to break through our radiant star formation, though. Gotta admit, I'm actually having a bit of fun here. But you could stand to turn up the heat, Crow! Come on! Get your Divine Knight out here! Yeah, sure. Because I take orders from you. So much for throwing numbers at the problem. Those two combat shells are more than we bargained for. Not to mention her. Seriously, mind cutting us a little slack? Do forgive me. I hate to have to break such a lovely lady's heart. I'm afraid you won't be outdoing us at this stage. And our reinforcements will soon be arriving. It seems we'll need to prepare a number of 
guest rooms for your very lengthy stay. Uh, father! The finale draws near. Now, what will you do? You are still the Great Twilight's ultimate sacrifice. If you were to release its tremendous power sealed within you, you might even stand a chance at winning. Listen, asshole. No! You can't! Don't listen to this stupid old man! <laughs> oh? I assume this is no attempt at surrender. Not at all. Though it's unfortunate that I've been chosen by the curse, that's the very reason I'm able to see a way out of all this. <sighs> what are you... Gaius! Emma! They're here! Got it. Understood. Celine, I need your help. We're going to open a gate right over Gaius' stigma. Right! I'm on it! A one-way teleportation gateway? No. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> now that's clever. I recognize that voice. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. The Azure Abyss. Vita Clotilde. <laughs> Perfect timing. I must admit, even I never considered the possibility. The Second Dominion's partitions. Why is it all the way up there? Clever. They're coming. Is that the Bobcat? Josette! She really made it! And that silver ship! The Liberal and Crossbell teams mentioned it. An airship exclusively for Dominion use. Merkaba Unit 8, a gift passed down from my master. Randy? Just in time, Agat. And the General as well. Now you guys show up? Had to make sure our entrance was dramatic enough. Are you okay, Reen? I am now. Principal, Vita, we really owe you one. <laughs> well, we never could have pulled it off without Thomas. We will hold the enemy here. It's time to make your retreat. Yes, yes ma'am! Lend me a hand. On it. <clears throat> That's what I wanted to see. Wait, I'm coming with you.
Valimar, you may not be able to respond to me, but I should still be able to pilot you. What the... <sighs> oh, right. I'm still in human form. Selene, I need your help. Okay. I'll manipulate the core mana! Even if Valimar's consciousness is gone, you should be able to sync with him. Just focus your mind! Right. I'm sorry, Valimar. I'm the reason you're like this. But if you can somehow hear me, lend me your strength. So that we might create a better tomorrow. Thank you, old friend. Now rise! Valimar, the Ashen Knight! What? They... <laughs> they did it! Thank goodness. He got Million back! <laughs> now there's a sight for sore eyes. We couldn't have done it without you. And as for everyone's soul dots... There! I'll help you teleport them over! Now we're talking! Quickly now, everyone! <sighs> uh, what fun it's been, General. I hope to see your skills improve even further. Alas, we have reached our pinnacle. But yours may well be of a far greater height. The Steel Maiden's Divine Knight! And the Chancellor's! <laughs> and your chances of escape keep getting slimmer. Zauber Soldat? This isn't looking good. Take cover behind the Divine Knight and Soldats! Though far from a solo effort, I must commend you for reclaiming your knight. But you can feel it, can't you? Your fate is no longer one you can escape. Yeah. i felt it since the moment I became a sacrifice. Each and every Awakener has a path they must follow. An inescapable destiny. And any attempt to stray from that path warps fate even further. That's what you meant by the true story, isn't it, Vita? That's right. The very story whose ending I tried to change at the Infernal Castle. Via the ritual to restore the Great One, whose power had been divided among the Divine Knights. If I recall, that ritual was known as a rivalry, correct? Close. The rivalry of the Seven, to be more precise. A ritual that can only be performed while the world stands on the brink of destruction. Then, the Great Twilight was just setting the stage. So the ultimate purpose of that whole farce was to revive the Great One. Yes, precisely. <laughs> Though I wouldn't call it a farce. These rivalries are supposed to be one hell of a show. And I want to see them. No matter what it takes to make them happen. You're sick. At this point, we don't have the luxury of uncovering their motives. Agreed. With my brother in control of the Auric Knight, all of the preparations are complete. 
Yeah, and there's no going back now. Be that as it may, I choose to defy my fate. And I want to do so with all of you. Friends, comrades, and students alike. So that Milliam's sacrifice won't be in vain. And above all else, so that I never lose myself again. <sighs> Instructor. We're all with you. That's right. Even if it seems like all is lost. We're the ones who decide our fate, and no prophecy or evil scheme is going to stop us. If you wish to struggle against the inevitable, then so be it. The blood you shed shall only serve as further kindling for the rivalries. Merkaba Unit 2 has detected multiple hostiles, and they're closing in fast! We've got to get out of here, quick! Emma, Celine, Gaius, if you would. Of course! Everyone, focus your power! We'll teleport you all at once! May our wings take us from the darkest abyss to the sky's embrace. I have high expectations of you as well. After all, only true miracle workers could stop Operation Jormungand at this point. Hmm. It seems you've anticipated a fair amount of our plan already. To make up for your loss of Instructor Reen and Milliam, allow me to grant you a small gift. Meal Mirage. That's the name of our operation. <laughs> A fine name indeed. I do believe I'd enjoy one final game with you, apart from the rivalries. Now's our chance! Get moving! I'll take point. Everyone follow me. We're right behind you. Uh, really starting to regret this heavy-ass soldat. Uh, is that sunlight? It is. Dawn must be breaking. There you are. Now, let's make ourselves scarce. Deploying optic field! Oh man, we missed all the fun. That looked like the Merkaba Unit 8. Man, they sure fixed that thing up quick. <laughs> Church ship? If the Septian Church wants to provoke the Empire, they've done quite a good job of it. <laughs> so they managed to outfox the Blood and Iron Chancellor, the Steel Maiden, and even Enforcer Number One? Though he had the Golden Rakshasa and multiple Dominion on his side. It certainly seems that Reen person is quite the lucky devil, doesn't it? <laughs> Ironic you should say that, considering the fate he's been given. And their troubles are only just beginning. Yep. All the main players are finally on the stage. Only a matter of time now until we kick open the gates of hell and set this world ablaze. Yes. The Divine Knights are assembled, and Jormungand stirs awake. This story's rushing headlong to its climax. 
Forgive me, my lady. Rain. Milliam. It's all come to this. Everything's come together for this moment. No matter how faint your hopes are. No matter how certain despair is. This is your final challenge, Reen. Will you and Class 7 rise to meet it? Where am I? Oh, right. This must be Emma's hometown. Altina. Guess I've kept her pretty worried all this time. She must have fallen asleep watching over me. Instructor Reen? Oh. Morning, everyone. Sorry. Looks like I overslept a bit. And we have so much to talk about, too. <laughs> Thank goodness! I was almost afraid you'd never wake up! <laughs> you guys... She's not the only one. We've all been ill at ease. Even after we managed to escape, the moment we made it to Aaron, you were out for nearly an entire day. We've all been taking turns waiting ever faithfully by your bedside, old and new Class 7 alike. And I, for one, relish the opportunity to gaze longingly at your sweet sleeping face, like a vision into my future. Really, Muse? I mean, really? <laughs> Floozy's gonna flooze. Anyway, stop coddling him already. The guy's a grown-ass man. So you say, but you were just as eager as the rest of us to stand watch. Oh yeah, I thought for sure you'd just ditch, going on and on about how much you don't care. Oh, it was just so sweet. He sat right by your side, the very picture of concern. Like hell I did! Quit making shit up, you damn snitches! <laughs> It's good to have you back with us, Ash. I wasn't sure if you were okay, let alone if I'd ever see you again. Class 7 just wouldn't be the same without you. <laughs> well, what can I say? Shit happens. Besides, I wasn't the one chained up in a workshop. Compared to you, I've had it easy. <laughs> I suppose so. And Muse, I know this puts you in a difficult spot, but either way, thank you for coming back. You still have your own moves to play. I understand that, but for now, I'm glad you've decided to be here with us. As am I. Though frankly, even I'm not quite sure how it happened. I suppose I have no choice but to stay right at your side until I find out. Glad to hear it. Ugh, <sighs> there she goes again. <laughs> but it wouldn't be the same without her. As for you two, Yuna, Kurt, it seems you spared no effort coming to my aid. I can't thank you enough for that. <laughs> oh. Instructor. Well, I mean, we kinda owed you, you know? You've come to our rescue plenty of times. It's only right we return the favor. If there's one thing you've taught us, 
It's to think and act for ourselves. Having the opportunity to put those lessons into practice was an experience unlike any other. But even then, we owed the bulk of our success to the old Class 7 and everyone else who had our backs. Still, thank you all the same. <sighs> Allie? <laughs> Rise and shine, Sleepy Bunny. Why is everyone here? Oh. Good morning, Altina. I can only imagine all the struggles and doubts you must have gone through. But you never stopped moving forward with everyone else. I'm proud of you. It's good to be back. Instructor Reen! I... I... All right. Seems we're all forgetting the most important part. Maybe it's a little unfair of us to steal the first chance, but nevertheless, shall we? Welcome back, Instructor Reen!
Thank you, everyone. With you, I know I can... No. We're all going to push our way forward. Together. Right!
the game commence. Ha <laughs> 